You already know that we have started and that and and we are studying in detail with some example based on it. So, so, far, so far, we have completed the following topics which you can see, which you can see on your screen. That is the option Now you are very much familiar that what is the set and how to write the set? Okay. Then, methods of writing set. This is what I know. Then, type of set have seen. Along with their examples, Venn diagram, subset, and on all these topics, we have seen several examples. That this example What the disjoint sets? You will see in our definition in detail along with the example. Just I am giving the introduction part of it. Disjoint set. Disjoint. Disjoint. The word itself. The word itself means they are totally different from each other. Totally different from each other. So here in one type, we are looking for the common elements, whereas in other type, we are looking for the disjoint. That means between the two sets, there will be no common element. Okay. Between the two sets, there will be no common element. So such uh, such sets will be called as what? Disjoint sets. Okay. Now let us study the definition and the example based. Now we'll see first one intersection of two sets. 
an intersection of two sets. Now, what is the definition? Okay, because you should know the definition. And uh, while writing this set, you should know the notation, how it is written. Okay, so suppose A and B are two sets. Suppose A and B are two sets. The set of all common elements. The set of all common elements of A and B is called the intersection of set A and B. Okay, so you hear the word common. Okay, common element. Now that common element, it should be common between the two, two sets. Okay, between the two sets. And it is denoted by A intersection B. Okay, A intersection B. This is how you denote. This is the sign of the intersection. Okay, and read as A intersection B. Now, if I want to write this intersection definition in the set notation form, in the set notation form, then how it will be A intersection B is equal to X. Okay, now this is a, uh, uh, I am reading in the rule. Okay, this form, format or the notation, it is given in the rule. Number. That is X, X is nothing but is a member of the set. Okay. And that X, it belongs to A as well as it belongs to B. That means the member which is present in the A as well as which is present in the B. That particular element will be the intersection of the given two sets. Okay? That particular element will be the intersection of the given two sets. Most clearly, we see the uh, example so that be clear for you. See, here. A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 6. Now, we are in set A, some elements are Okay. Whereas in set B, again, some elements are there. 2, 3, 6, 8. So, let us draw Venn diagram. Now, if we can see. If you will see the elements over here in set A and in set B, you can see that C is common between the two sets. C is the element which belongs to set A as well as set B. Okay, so if I want to type A intersection B from the from this only, I will go. To the Venn diagram later on, but I am explaining the help of this listing method first. Okay, so A intersection is equal to what? Three. Why three? Because three is the only element which is common in set A as well as in set B. Okay, now if I want to draw the Venn diagram, all of you who are now expert, you are well versed how to draw the Venn diagram. Okay, that A, A. Set A, this is set A. Okay, what are uh, which are the elements in the set A? 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, then in set B, which are the elements? 2, 6, 8. Okay, now whenever you are drawing the Venn diagram, represent the intersection of the two sets. Okay, whenever you are drawing the Venn diagram, representing the intersection of the two sets. The element which is common, the element which is common between the two sets, you can show it at the set. Uh, it is shown at the set. Means what? This three, this element three, it is present in the set B as well as present in set A. Okay. So this is a uh, very important that whenever you are drawing the Venn diagram of intersection of the two sets. Okay. So normally what you have to do, you have to show it like this, okay? Write the element in set A in the set B and whatever the common element you can show at the center of the two sets. Why? Because this particular center, it is common in A as well as in okay? So this is how you can show it or you can represent it in the section of the two sets 
using the red line. Okay, so the LNP is common in set A and set B. So therefore, in section A in section B is equal to this is how you can write it in the state. Okay, so we have seen the listing method. We have seen how to draw the Venn diagram of the intersection of the two sets and at the last how to help the final answer in the form of the statement. Okay, in the form of the statement. Now, this listing method, if they give you the question directly in the listing method, it is easier for you to find out the common element between the two sets. Okay, but if the set is given in the room, Third. Okay, if the set is given, set notation is given in the third, then first you have to convert that in the receipt method and then find out the intersection of the two sets. Okay, then you can find out intersection of the two sets. A is equal to 1, 3, 9, the element 11 and 13, whereas B is equal to 1, 9, 11. Okay? Now, in this, in this, what you can see that the element 1, okay, this element 1, 9, and 11, it is common in both the sets. It is common in both the sets. That is the element 1, 9, 11 are common in set A and set B. Okay. So, therefore, if I want to write down A intersection B, if I want to write down what I get intersection means what? Common. Okay. Intersection. Just keep the word in mind. Intersection is equal to common. Okay. So, intersection means what? Common. So, which are the common elements? 1, 9. 11. Okay. Now this is what A intersection B. Okay. But if you see carefully that 1, 9 and 11, this particular is same as the set B. Okay. It is same as set B. Okay. That is A intersection B is equal to B. So your set B is the subset of A. Yes. And uh, we have seen what do you mean by a subset of a set? So this set B, it can be a subset of A. Okay? B is a subset of A. Then A intersection B is equal to B. Similarly, if B intersection A is equal to B, then B is a subset of A. See, A intersection B or B intersection A, both are same. Okay? So if this is equal. This is one of the property. Okay, this is one of the property. If this is equal to the uh, one of the set, if this is equal to one of the set, then we can say that that particular set is a subset of the other set. Okay, that particular set is a subset of the other set. So here we are using the intersection of the two sets. We are using the subset of the two sets. Okay, at the same time. We are drawing the Venn diagram also. We are drawing the Venn diagram also. Now, subset B is the subset of A intersection B. So, B, the, it will be the smaller set, whereas the bigger set is the A. Okay? So, this is how you can draw, uh, draw the Venn diagram. Okay? But keep in mind that if you find intersection, if you find the intersection of the two sets, and that intersection is equal to one of the sets, then that particular set, for example, here B. So that B is a subset of A. Okay. So this is one of the property. Okay. We will see further, but this is an explanation of that property. Okay.
say it. One more example. Now this is uh, I am showing again and again example because you have you should know how to draw the Venn diagram of intersection of the two sets. Okay, of intersection of the two sets. Now here set A equal to two four six eight ten. Two four eight yeah, six eight ten and B is equal to three six nine twelve. Okay. Now if you will see your own be in the discrete form, okay. Element six is common, okay. No other element you can see from this two uh, two sets. Only element six is common in both the sets. So A intersection B it will be equal to six. Why? Because six is common in between the two set A and set B. So if you want to draw the Venn diagram, how you will draw? First, draw the set A. Okay, this is set A. Which are the elements? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And you know that 6 is a common. And you have to show that common element at the center of the two sets. Okay, so here you can show the set B. And the common, the intersection part, you can share it. Okay, you can share it slightly. And show the elements which are present in the set A as well as in the set B. That is what the intersection part of the two given sets. Okay. Now, properties of intersection of sets. Okay. First property is that. I told you that A intersection B is same as B intersection A. Okay, both are same. Okay, so A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Here are two sets I have taken A and B. So that particular intersection will be same as B intersection A. You cannot say that A intersection A intersection B is equal to P intersection Q because here these two sets are different and these two sets are different. Okay, you can say that A intersection P is equal to P intersection A because two sets are same. Okay, so this is the first property. Second property just now we have seen the example on it. Okay, if A is subset of B, okay, then A intersection B is equal to A. We have seen the example on Okay, vice versa of this, that is the converse of this property, second property, that if A intersection B is equal to B, okay, here A intersection B is equal to A is given, but in the converse part, if A intersection B is equal to B, then B is a subset of the first, okay, then B is a subset of the first. Then fourth one, A intersection B is a subset of A and A intersection B is a subset of B. That means if you will combine these two properties, if you will combine these two properties, what will be the conclusion or what inference you can draw that if A intersection B and this B is a subset of A and A intersection B which is subset of so, conclusion of these two particular property will be the fourth property. Okay. Then, A intersection, A complement, A dash. A dash is nothing but the A complement. Okay. So, the intersection of the A and complement A of A will be always an empty set. Always an empty set. How you can uh, explain this? Example. Yes. If I'll say A is equal to 1, 2. Okay. U is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Then A complement will be what? 3. A complement will be what? 3. Why? Because A complement is the leftover element. To subtract A from the universal set. Okay, this is how you find the A complement. Yesterday only we have seen how to find the complement set. Okay, 
So the intersection of this A and A complement, you can find uh, any common element between these two sets. No. So the intersection of these two sets will be always an empty set. Will be always what an empty set. Okay. Then A intersection A. Intersection of A with the same set itself. Okay. If I am taking the set A, suppose A is equal to 1, 2. Okay, 1, 2. So the intersection of A with the with itself. Okay, intersection of A with itself will be always the given set A itself. Okay, intersection of the set A with itself will be always the given set A. Then, last property that is A intersection 5. A intersection 5. 5 is what M. If one set is empty and if one set is given, there will be no common element between them. There will be what? No common element between them. Okay. For example, A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay, this is one set. Okay, and another set you can take it as empty set. B is equal to empty. No elements are there. So if I take the intersection of this, intersection means what common? Can you see that the is common set? No. Okay, no element is common between A and B. Okay, that is if one set is given and another set is an empty set. If another set is an empty set, then A intersection empty set will be always an empty set. Okay. A intersection empty set will be always an empty set. So this uh, especially this three properties you have to keep in mind. That is A intersection A complement will be phi that is empty. Then A intersection A, that is the set itself, will give you the set original set. Okay. And A intersection empty set will be always an empty set. So, especially this three properties you should keep in mind. Okay. Uh, why? Because mainly the sums or the examples they are asked on the basis of these three properties. Okay. This was about the intersection of the two sets. Okay, intersection of the two sets. We have seen the properties as well as one, uh, one, two example. Now we will see what is disjoint. Now disjoint means which are not joined together. If they are joined, if they are joined, okay, there will be some common. So your disjoint is what? Two sets, they are totally different from each other. Totally different from each other. So students, if the two sets, they are totally different from each other, then there will be no common element between them. That means the intersection will be an empty set. Intersection will be an empty set. Why? Because there is no common element. The two sets, they are totally different from each other. Okay. For, for example, if I say in one set, one set, four, and in one, another set, A, B, C, D. Can you find out any uh, common element in the two sets? No. Okay. So, if the two sets, they are totally different from each other, then they are called as what? Disjoint sets. Okay. And intersection of the two disjoint set, it is always an empty set. It is always an empty set. Now, here, let us the definition of A is equal to 2, 4, 6, okay? 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, 8. B is equal to 1, 5, 7. Now, if we observe both, can see that you can observe that that no element common between A and B. Okay, 
So this is that A and Z. They are what is it? They are the world itself. But they are not true. So if they are not true, that is the truth of each other. Okay? So if the two sets have no common elements, then the two sets are the two sets. Here you can see that I set A from set B from no elements from so two separate red eyes are drawn for the different sets. Okay? And then the intersection of two sets is an empty set. Then what empty set? So in uh, MCQ question, multiple choice question, okay, choose the correct order. They may give this option that section of the two rejoined set is dash. Options to be given. Empty set, then uh, final set, final set, equal. Which, which is the correct option? Then it is what? The correct answer is what? Empty set. So remember, if the two sets they are disjoint, then the intersection is empty. Okay, about the disjoint set. Here one activity is there from textbook itself. Okay. Now in this activity, if you can see that this particular set is the universal set. Universal set is nothing but the biggest. Okay. See now we are studying operation set. So here we are doing universal set, Venn diagram, then subset, each and every concept which we have studied previously in previous all this. Are relating to our current topic. Okay, so here this is the universal set, and that some alphabet, English letter alphabet are there. Okay, some alphabet. Now, out of this, you can see the laugh and the cry. Okay, laugh and the cry. Can any elements common to this laugh and the cry? No. Okay, no elements. And the word by from the universe. Okay, so this particular love and by it can be considered as a disjoint set. Okay, it can be considered as a disjoint set. Why? Because no element is common the words. Okay, no element is common with the particular words. So I hope that you have got an idea what is the intersection of the set and what is the short. For, for intersection, if book one for intersection for its form, it's very much the word intersection. Find the intersection. That book what you have to find the form. Okay? And this short is one topic that. A intersection B, that is the picture. Now, uh, this is the set is an empty set if these two sets are disjoint. Okay, this one from the picture is taking my for the first set. Okay, now here, example. How the particular question can be asked? Choose the correct alternative answer for each. Of the following question. Okay, that means four options to be given, and from the four options, we have to select the correct one. Okay, and the four options to be somewhat similar to each other. Somewhat similar to each other, only that uh, you should, uh, should know how to solve and find the correct answer. Okay, so here for if M is equal to And n is equal to 2, 4, 6. So your m if m is equal to m is equal to 1, 3, 5. m is equal to 1 and 5. Okay? Whereas n 
is equal to 2, 4, and 6. Now, if we can see here, these two sets, no element is common between the two sets. Okay, no element is common between the two sets. So then, n intersection n. Then, what is the intersection? Intersection is what I mean. Common. Okay, so can you find out any common element? No, there is no common element. Between the given two sets. Okay, so which will be correct option? That is option C, that is the 5. That means intersection of these two elements will be at every set. Now, we are uh, written that according to the pentagon. According to the pentagon, if I want to draw the pentagon, okay, it will be what? This is M and this is N. Here, 1. And five, okay, two, four, and six. So when you will draw the Venn diagram, you will see that M and N they are but they are disjoint. They are nothing but they are disjoint. Okay. So if they are disjoint, then there will be no common element. But in the question, they have asked for the second. Following set represents n intersection sub. Okay. okay. N intersection sub. Now here only they have given n intersection sub. Now you must be thinking that no set given how we can find the intersection. But students, you should know that n and the is the notation of the natural number? Okay, this is the notation of the natural number, and the book is the notation for the whole number. Okay, so if you will study it carefully, only then you will get the answer. Otherwise, some students no certainty. So, what is the intersection? It could be empty. Okay, so many students in this type of question. They mark the option D. Okay, that is the empty or mostly the zero. Okay, but see students that natural is what n is nothing but one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, whereas W is nothing but zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. This we have seen in the very first lecture of the class. Okay, set of numbers. Okay, I have shown you. Slide of the set of numbers also. Okay, so here n is but one, two, three, and the is equal to zero, one, two, three, four. Intersection, intersection is what I have to in my common. Okay, what is common? So which element is common? How do we set? We can see one, two, four, and so on. Okay, so the correct option. Correct option is the word option A. Okay, so if you know the proper set notation, you can the example. Okay, otherwise, intersection sets are you can find out the common. But what we what do if they give you such not set notation that at n intersection w, they make w intersection i. i is nothing but the integer. Okay, I is nothing but then you have to write W is equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on. I is equal to dot 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 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1, 0, 1, 2, dot 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 all negative positive 3. And check 
which are the common elements. Okay, so they have asked what is the n intersection. The that is what is the intersection? Natural anthropology. So natural So here if you see the set B, set B is number C, B, C, F. Okay? Whereas in set A, it is A, B, C, B, E. So if they ask, draw the Venn diagram also, the Venn diagram can show the intersection of the Okay? Now here, yeah. write the following number to the type that you always the that type. Okay? And you have to write or you have to find out A intersection B. A intersection B and A dash and B dash. Okay? Now, if you will see students, here U is the universal set. U is the universal set. And to find complement to find the complement, you should have a universal set. I told you that you should have a bigger set so that the smaller set can subtract it from the bigger set and whatever the leftover elements are there, that is the universal set. Okay? So first, what you will do? You will write the elements which are there in the U, which are there in the A and which are there in the B. And then accordingly, find out A complement Okay, so let us see. U is equal to U person. So you have to write all the elements. Okay, all the elements. So I will start it from 
order is not important because sometimes students in writing the element in the order they miss out one or the element from it. okay they miss out one or the element from the set so better take set first set second set like that you can go okay so i try two then five nine eight one Seven. Okay, this I completed. Then go back, go to the page that is four, ten, six, fourteen. Okay, these two sets I have completed, and last is what eleven and twelve. Okay, you can write down in order, but only to avoid the mistake. Take the first set, take the second set, and the leftover element at the last. Okay. Now, if I want to write the a, okay, a complete, a complete. So, which are the elements in the a that I will subtract from the universal set? Okay, that is complete. So, let us see in a, two is there, five is there, then nine is there, eight is there, one is also there, three and seven. So A complement for four, ten, six, fourteen, eleven, and this is the A complement. Okay, this is what A complement. Now suppose if I want to write down the B complement, okay, if I want to write down the B complement, so B complement is this. I will strike it off now. Whatever the elements are there from it, I will strike it out from the universe. So 1, 4, 6, 14, 1, 7. This will be uh, cancelled from the universal set. So B complement is what? What is B complement? Mm -hmm. 5. Then 9. Okay, so whenever you want to find out the complement, whenever you want to find out the complement, first write the universal set. Okay, then the elements which are there in the smaller set subtracted from the universal set, so that you will get the complement. Okay, now we have seen how to find the complement of set A and set. Okay, now the first question that is the A distribution. So from the when I Is the intersection part of set A and set B. So A intersection will be equal to 1, 3, 4. Okay, it is easier if the ventile find out if ventile convert the uh, set first in the fixing form. And then find out which elements are constant. Okay, so today we have seen how to find out intersection of the two given sets. Okay, and what is the disjoint? Disjoint, nothing you have to do, but only remember that disjoint is what it is. Disjoint is what? No, the two given sets, the two given sets, they are totally different from each other. They are what? Totally different from each other. Okay, no element is common between them. And always remember the intersection of the two sets is always an set. It is always what? An set. Okay, only this much you have to remember for the disjoint set. But otherwise, more uh, concentration should be on the intersection of the two. So, for finding the intersection, check whether this we are going, uh, this we are going from the beginning also. That whenever the set is given in the list first, see that it is converted in the listing number, and then carry out whatever you want to find out. Okay, that is the 
uh, identifying the type then subset or who can draw the Venn diagram complement of a set now we have the intersection of the set so all this 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 uh, thing can cater only and only if the set is given in the system form if it is not given then first convert it in the system form and then do as per the okay so in the next lecture we will see how to find out union of the system today we have the intersection after the showing set in the next see how to find out the union of the two sets. I hope that you are clear with what we have done it today and so far if you are not getting okay if you are not getting a little bit confusion in there or if you have missed out anything you can go to the YouTube channel okay and watch the video and note down whatever is required Hello. <laughs>